Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, this is Baby Jace here, and I finally am doing a video on how to get my UI. I have been saying for months how I'm going to do this, and I was just trying to figure out the best way to do it. I actually came up with a solution about a few weeks ago, but I needed to make a video going through every step-by-step -step process on what files you needed to replace to get all my like WTF settings. It's such a pain in the ass. But luckily, LVI released a new um, update which allows you to export and import profiles based on text. This is something I have been begging for for a very long time because it would make everything way easier for me. So we're going to pretty much go here. I'm going to tell you every add-on and I'm going to put the name of every add-on in the description. So if you don't know what I said, I'll let you know what it is in the description. Okay. So first off, you have the add-on M runes. Now M runes is the little rune bar that I have here. This is the runes and the runic is under it. Now if you want M runes, it's just M R U N E S. I think it's a really good add-on. Here's my X and Y settings for like where you want it to be on for where I have it on my screen if you choose to match. Um I believe I believe I cannot export this profile. But the only thing I really change is where it's positioned on the screen. I changed the order of the runes. I believe it used to be Frost, Blood, on Holy. I'm not too positive on that. But you can uh, see here on the ordering that I have Blood 1, Blood 2, 1, Unholy 1, and Unholy 2 as 2, 2, and Frost 1 and Frost 2 as 1, 1 as well. And this will give you this order right here that you see. It, I don't, I don't remember exactly what it did, but since I've been playing Unholy pretty much the entire expansion and most of the end of Siege of Orgrimmar, this was the order that worked perfectly for me. So this is M Runes, very, very solid add-on. I prefer it for um, my Runic Bar and my Runes. Um, whether or not you do, it's up to you. Next add-on is Tell Me When. Now, this is my DK Tell Me Wins. It has everything, Gargoyle, D&D, Shadow Infusion and Dark Transformation remaining, uh, cooldown on Breath of Sindragosa, cooldown on the ring. Um, this is Blood Tap, I believe. This shows up at 46% and it's Soul Reaper and it makes a little ding noise when it's off cooldown, so you can try and keep the uh, uptime on that to the maximum. You know, your your Frost and your um, your Unholy, or your Blood Plague, and it turns it, the Frost one turns into Necrotic Plague if you're running Necrotic Plague. Outbreak, Plague Leech, it has it pretty much everything. This used to be for, I believe, a Siege of Orgrimmar trinket. I just haven't deleted it. So this is uh, Tell Me When. I think it's perfect for what it does. I just want to have icons and shit. It's so much easier for me to set up than Weak Auras. I think it's just way better than Weak Auras for, for this specific purpose. I think Weak Auras is fantastic for mechanics and boss abilities and stuff like that, but I believe Tell Me When is just perfect for, for what I want it to do here. So this is Tell Me When. In the description, I will have a pastebin of this exact Tell Me When profile, and it'll have a profile for Blood and for Frost. Um, so here's Blood, Frost, and Unholy. So this is the Unholy. I'm going to go to uh, Blood, and you'll see that it changes. So now this is for Blood, and this shows Blood Shield. It shows the, the Blood Charges again, the Tank Ring, you know, rune tap, blood, bone shield, damp blood, stuff like that, dancing rune, so very, very solid add-on for what I want it to do. You'll get all three specs um, with the um, paste bin that I'll provide in the description, so look for that, tell me when. As for weak auras, I have just a metric ass ton of weak auras from Blackrock Foundry and like HFC and just everything. A lot of these weak auras at the end of the expansion, especially with the pre-patch, I will go in and into a weak aura purge and just get rid of the previous raid weak auras. The only thing I really keep is these. These are basically procs that my Death Knight will receive. So procs from abilities like Killing Machine. Uh, maybe not Killing Machine. Like Soul Reaper. If I Soul Reaper something and it dies, it'll show the Soul Reaper buff. Had a sacrifice for tanking. Um, it shows the Frost DK 4 set and 2 set buffs that you get, um, Vigilance, just a lot of different trinket procs and stuff like that. And then on the bottom here is on use ability, so Lust, Bone Shield, uh, Pillar of Frost, the Orc Racial, 
the uh, ring if you use it, the um, Violet Convulsive Shadows, uh, the Scabbard, Potion, AMS, Dancing Rune, all these other on-use abilities, uh, Vamp Blood, uh, Icebound. So these will definitely be included. I like them. Um, you don't have to have them if you don't want. I'm not going to really include the rest of my weak cores. <laughs> really not specific to my UI. If you really want them, I guess I could put them up, but generally I'm only going to put up the the procs, the, or the, the on-use abilities, the procs, and like maybe I'll put up my whole HFC thing, but um, I mean, there's a lot of HFC packs out there, so I don't really think you are going to want mine, because mine is absolutely massive. Okay, once you do that, the main thing you need to do is you need to import in uh, the LVY. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Profiles, and you do Import Profile. And you're going to copy paste what I have in the paste bin. And once you've copy paste it, it'll say Importing Profile, Profile Name, JSDK. So all you need to do is, um, if that's there, then all you need to do is just hit Import Now, and it should automatically set it to my profile that you see here. If you don't see this automatically loaded in, you can go back to forward slash LVI profiles, JSDK, and then like existing profiles, and make sure you select JSDK. And it should change all your settings to this. I'm not 100% positive if this is enabled with LVI. I know this is kind of new. There might be some things that are missing but overall like I mean this is this is it really these are all these are all my settings I mean if you see something very 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 similar you can change how you want your bars to look and stuff like that I mean if it doesn't if those don't show up you can easily manually set this yourself I mean you can set your keybindings however you want to set them up you don't need to copy me on my keybinds that's just personal preference I use a 12 key mouse so I'm able to hit shift 9 very easily. I'm able to hit um, alt equal sign very, very easily because I have that mouse. So just set your key bindings to what you want to set them to. That's kind of personal preference. But everything else it should set. It should set your health bar, your, your enemy, the colors. Um, if you have a pet, it should have the pet come up under here. It should have your pet bar down here. Um, and pretty much like the boss frames will be over on this side. I mean, this is generally my UI, like, has all the things down here. It really doesn't get more, much more simple than this. This is a really, really simple way to put in my UI. So, I know this is a pretty quick video. I kind of just made it on the fly. I had everything really ready to go, but the second they uh, announced this, or the second I read that this feature was in, I pretty much made the jump and just did it. Um, I guess one last uh, add-on that I really suggest you get is ERT Exorcist Raid Tools. Very, very solid. I prefer big wigs. You can go big wigs or DBM. doesn't really matter. It's up to you and your personal preferences. I simply prefer to have boss mods that don't scream and shout at me for every little thing, which DBM does, but again, personal preference. This is Quick Talents. I really like it. It allows you to swap talents pretty easily. Uh, Defile, Breath of Syndragosa, Necrotic Plague, Breath Again. It, obviously, it costs you a tome each time, and you can click that, and it gets rid of it. Or you can hit it again, and it brings it up. Uh, let me go through add-ons and see if there's anything else that uh, you might want. Uh, I use Arc Inventory for my bags. You don't have to do that. Whatever you want to do. Um, I see all my big wigs here. Clean boss button. Click. I like to use click because uh, get out of here. click, and by click I mean I just have it set to raise ally, which is Alt F4. So all I have to do is hover over whoever it is, hold on the Alt, and press the four key, Alt F4. I mean Alt Four. My bad. You just hover over who is dead, hit, hold on to your Alt, and press four, and it'll automatically be raised. And you don't have to select them. It's like a mouse over uh, add-on. I love it. I don't know what I do without click. I have Death Note to see who died. And this is Death Note, just shows me, oh, you know, Edict, who died, you know, what what damage they took, see if they were t getting heals or anything like that. I think it's a must-have add-on for progression. Very, very good. Enhanced Friends List, all it is is it shows, like, if they're on Horde, Alliance, what class they are, you know, it shows class color, Horde, Alliance, uh, Heroes of the Storm, 
Um, or, or no, Icon means Overwatch. I think I need to change the setting for Overwatch to show up. Um, Diablo's there. Um, I think it's quality of life. You don't really need it, but I certainly love it. Um, so that's Enhanced Friends List and then Exorcist Raid Tools. You want to grab that. What other add-ons do I have here that you should grab? Everyone uses Master Plan. That's like a no-brainer. Loggerhead automatically starts logging whenever I enter into an instance. Little Wigs just for dungeons. Mixed scrolling battle text. That's just my battle text. If you want that, just ask in the comments. I'll upload that or something sometime. In runes again. That's for my runes. Omni CC. I use that. That battle. You don't really need to worry about that. Plate buffs. Uh, get plate buffs. I think it's amazing. I like to use plate buffs to show the debuffs and stuff above enemy nameplates. Instead of using um, tidy plates, I hate tidy plates. Uh, I, I love using tidy plates. I hate having to set up debuffs to show above them with tidy plates. It's such a pain in the ass, and I honestly prefer plate, buff, uh, plate buffs. I use quartz for my cast bar. Cast bar is usually just under here somewhere. Um, Scotta, here's my Scotta down here. I like that. It's whatever. You know, tell me when. Really, a lot of the other stuff is just kind of like. Um, quality of life or just personal preference. It's not really the core UI. The core UI is LVY and like in runes, tell me when and the weak ores. Everything else, um, you can kind of like do with your own thing. If you really want, I can upload all my profiles for tidy plates, but that has to, you have to do a lot of stupid bullshit with the WTF folders. And if I can avoid messing with WTF folders, uh, that would be huge. I cannot stand the whole WTF. As for LVI, I do use LVI Skullflower. I'm not sure if that would actually matter. I guess I could reload UI without Skullflower's UI and add on enabled and see what happens. I think you might need it, but we're going to find out here in a second if you need it or not. Let's see. Um, okay, so I guess you do need it because the coloring is a little off. I guess I mostly use it for the coloring. I really don't like this color, actually. I really like the color on Skullfire's UI. So, grab that add-on if you want the coloring and the, like, the font to be a bit different and more to how I have it. I don't expect Skullfire to update his uh, add-on in Legion, so... Come Legion, I'm not very good at fixing a giant ass add-on. I don't even know where I would begin, so... If no one updates it, you might have to just accept the fact that you're not going to have those cool colors and that uh, you're going to still look a little uglier, but it is what it is, you know? But yeah, I mean, that's it, really. I mean, the thing up here that's showing, that's just Trophy GCD. Let me show you the name of that so you can grab it if you so wish. Uh, Trophy GCD. Yeah. That's my UI. Um, everything is going to be in the descriptions. Like I said, I'll have the description to my tell me when. I'll have descriptions to my weak ores, or a paste bin to tell me when, paste bin to weak ores, and paste bin to my LVY profile itself. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. I really, really hope I didn't screw this one up. I know last time I tried to do a UI um, video, I really screwed it up. So hopefully this time I didn't screw it up. But if I did, Ask a question or whatever, I will try my best to fix it, and I'll give it another go in a future date. But yeah, that's it. I hope you really enjoyed this. I really hope you enjoy my UI. Um, if you hate my UI, I'm sorry. I don't know why you're watching this then, because this is really just for all the people who keep asking for my UI. But yeah, that's it. Um, and have a you know, pretty much have a good night.